Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Basic, a fly fish fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today, I'm just uh, I'm just starting to stock up my uh, my box again with little uh, little like ordies and and uh, just little bumbles and that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go with the uh, really hackly little dry fly um, imitation here, and uh, yeah, we'll see uh, see if you guys like it. It's a good little pattern. Um, now you can tie these in multiple different colors. That's totally up to you. But so in the Vice today, Hens BL354 size 10 dry fly hook, um, we're going to be using some oh, white. Oh, wow, wow, how white really shines, eh? Uh, white hackle. Uh, we'll be using some Capoc, uh, Zemperfly Capoc dubbing in the cream. And then uh, I'll be using a little tiny bit of yellow CDC and then a uh, one of the lighter feathers from up in here on the uh, on the partridge skin okay so, and white zemperfly nano silk for the thread so let's get this show started so lock that in just get a nice base layer down you get there about there nip off your waist back to just where the bend is about to start and then I just come forward just a little bit now I'll grab one of my hackle fibers here it's a really nice half cape I've had this one for a while actually it's but it's a really nice one I don't tie a ton of white um, but uh, I do tie some and it, they do come in handy so okay and there just separate out my tip there a bit just so I don't capture all the little fibers oops there we go just tie that down going back now the Zemperfly the Capoc the reason I'm using the Capoc First of all, it's super easy to dub, but even more so, it is. It uh, um, if you watched any of my other videos and stuff, or if you've know, if you know, this back in the 60s and 70s and even in the 80s, the I don't know if you guys remember those really heavy, ugly red life jackets that we had to wear. Um, they were filled with capoc. That's what helped them float. This stuff floats forever and a day. So, dry fly, use Capoc, right? And it comes in a variety of colors. This is the, the Zemperfly, this is the natural kit, they call this one. Um, and they just came out with uh, like some pinks and fluorescent greens and reds and stuff like that this year. So, a little bit more there. I just want to thicken up that front end here just a little bit. Let's go back over top. There we go. Just a tiny, tiny bit there. So now I'll take my hackle, do a full turn right at the back, and then I'm going to start bringing that forward. Fairly tight. I want about 10 or 12 turns of this coming forward. Right to there. I want lots of those little hackle fibers to hold this fly up, right? So, tied that off. And now this will be good for the next size fly, right? So if I'm going to go to a, a size 8 or something in this hook, hook uh, setup, then that would be the hackle I use. So don't throw it away, right? I'm just... Uh, trying to tie down all those little fibers they're gonna get hidden in a second here anyway so now I'm gonna take my CDC and my clip my material clip just get that CDC in there I'm just uh, now I'll go in and I'll nip off obviously nip off out that stem so we don't want that stem in there Okay, now I'm going 
to flatten my thread and do a split thread here. Uh, I've got a little bit more flattening and it'll go no problem. if you're not too blind like I am. There we go. Let it go. <laughs> there we go. Take my CDC. Let it go. Spin my bobbin. I'm pinching really hard right here so it doesn't spin it. And then when I let go and I drag it up, I drag with my nail and forefinger up, it does, it imparts the spin onto the material. See, there we go. There we go. Now I'm going to come back right behind that, right up against those last fibers, stroke everything back and back and back. Take your brush if you like and just make sure that those fibers are all loose. Yeah. I like taking all my stuff, leaving it back and just giving it a zip zip with the lighter. It gets rid of all those little danglies. Now I'm going to take a uh, one of these little guy feathers here, these little clear, little white, get a little bit more white in them than, than the brown. They still have some brown in them, but. It's right off the bottom of the wing on this one. It's stripping all that under fluff off. And those a couple of those longer fiber feathers that are, are there, because I don't want those. And I'm just gonna nip off the stem, just leaving a little bit of exposed stem there. Tie that in. Making sure that the darker side or the the, out, the the shiny side is facing out. Okay, nip off that stem piece. Again, make sure that's nicely tied down. Get my hackle plier. These little tiny feathers can be a little bit of a chore to work with, but take your time. You can do it. So I'm just gonna get maybe two wraps out of this, that's it. It's one. There's two full wraps. Up and over. Hold it tight, let go of my hackle plier. Stroke all that material, including that piece that you were holding on to back. Got a little bit of a whip. Nice and tight. Get in there. Cut off your thread. Go in and find your. Where's my little tweezer? I've got a little nail tweezer here. I'm just going to find that. Now, I, sometimes I leave these little set that stem in that I was grabbing with, but in these, I don't like having them in there. I like this being fairly sparse. These flies. So, and that is it. So that'll float really well for a while and then it'll want to sink let it sink almost fish this like a uh, like a wet fly once it sinks then you can get it up let it uh, uh, dry it off a couple of false casts fire it back out there it'll float for a while and then it'll sink let it sink it'll get nicely nice and uh, wet fly looking but it'll stay a little bit puffier because of that that's uh, white hackle underneath and it'll breathe it'll here i'm gonna actually change it over to the other camera so you guys can see so when this gets in there, it'll 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 slick down, but it'll breathe with the uh, with the um, the current, right? So um, 
these flies are, are, are really cool for that. So, but I like having that little bit of a, uh, that little bit of a darker couple of streaks in the front um, and not all, not all white, right? So uh, the other thing I like as well is sometimes I'll put, uh, instead of the yellow um, CDC, I'll put in a piece of red CDC. It, it all depends. I found that this yellow is, has been one that has probably been the most successful out of this style for me. Um, sometimes I'll even put just the tiniest yellow piece of yellow floss, just a tiny piece of yellow floss in the, uh, here in the, uh, the butt tail area right here. Just a little tiny piece that's maybe coming out to here as a tail. Just a tiny little one, um, of yellow, uh, like a yellow floss like this, right? That you can put on the tail so but uh this is probably my most successful pattern um in in the ones that i tie so uh yeah i just thought i'd show you guys that one this one uh, like i said it, it will float really well because of that cap lock but it will go underwater too so um fish it like a like a wet fly when you when it gets wet don't don't pull it up right away and try to dry it off in in you know with uh with uh with floatant and all that other stuff right just just let it do its thing all right so hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, if you did, give her a thumbs up. Um, if you subscribe, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. Spread the word to everybody. Let them know about the channel. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing some pretty cool things coming up here. I got some interviews coming with uh, with uh, Justin Lovell out of uh, Atlantic Canada. Uh, he he uh, is uh, a podcaster as well as a really good fly tire. I got some uh, interviews coming up with uh, Gary Hankey out of Edmonton. He's a uh, uh, distributor for Zemperfly and Hens and, and Alex Hooks and, and Stonefoe and a bunch of others. Um, and he's a, a, a very good fly fisherman, uh, really takes um, the uh, uh, European uh, style in. Um, and I'm hoping to get some other uh, interviews in uh, with uh, Deb Pascal and a few others. So, alrighty. Tie lines, everyone. <laughs>